Yo, hear me out. Because what I'm about to say, you know, um, some of you all may say that uh, you've contradicted yourself, Langston. But um, I want to say this. You know, I love my family. I love my children, of course. You know, um, and I'm, I don't take what I have for granted. You know, Pretty Ricky brung it up. You know, one day we were sitting down and he was like, yo man, you know, you pretty much live, you know, the middle class life. You live the American dream. You stay in the community, you have a house, you know, you got a basketball goal, you got, you know, the video games and all types of stuff. And, you know, you've pretty much done it on your own. You know, and he was like, you know, in your community, these people that live in these houses, whether they're renting or whether they own them, you know, they, they did things the square way, like they, not so much square way, but you, you understand, like the regular way. They, they, they um, went to high school, they graduated, went on to college, got in debt at a four year college, graduated, got their degree, and then went out into the work field. And they pretty much had a career, you know. And they, you know, first got an apartment and, you know, grew from there and that, thus they made it to this point. Whereas me, you know, I dropped out of college. Matter of fact, let's take it back in high school. I dropped out my dumb ass. I dropped out of high school and at, in the 12th, at the end of 12th grade. So after that, you know, I wound up getting my high school diploma and then I went on to college and I dropped out of college. You understand? So, you know, um, I've basically hustled all my life. That's how I basically got my money. And to get here, you know, whereas people had to go through all of these schools and, you know, get, get in debt and, and go through all of the trials and trivializations, it didn't happen for me. I had the money, I was able to move here. Thus, I'm here and it's just that plain and simple. There's nothing complicated about my story. You know, but while I'm, I'm fortunate to have the things that I have, and to live in a, in a house and to have, you know, a family that loves me and to be in a community where I don't have to worry about, you know, um, anything happening, you know, drive-bys, anything like that. And if someone tr would try to break into my house, you know, of course I have protection. You know, I have firearms in the house that I could be able to protect, protect and defend myself as well as my family. You know, um, even though, you know, things are decent, it's just, I'm not just, I'm not, I, I thought I wanted this life, but the reality is, is that I don't. Now, taking heat, I'm always gonna have a house for my family to live in, that's gonna be stable, you know, they're always gonna eat, and lights are always gonna be on, and the water's always gonna be on, and all the rest of that stuff, right? But, I want more, you understand, far as a lifestyle, you know, um, this lifestyle, it sucks. You know, don't get, don't get it twisted. I mean, it has its moments, you know, but for the most part, I just don't understand because I wasn't built that way. I just don't understand how somebody can sign, instead of 20 year mortgage and live in the same place, same house, same city, same state for 20 years plus. That just can't be me. You understand? Like, I don't believe in no man cave. My man cave is the world. I don't believe in pimping out my garage and putting a flat screen TV in there and a lazy boy chair. And every Sunday, me and Pretty Ricky, we pop a cold one and watch the game. That's every summer, excuse me, every Sunday when football season comes. And then the summer, you know, uh, uh, summer's here. I pull out the grill, you know, Pretty Ricky want the T-bone steak. Okay, we're gonna have to have a separate grill for you with that. And then I pull out the veggie kebabs and it's just, that's, that's garbage to me. To me, I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not garbage for you. I'm not saying that you shouldn't live that way. It's just for me, for me, I, I like excitement. Whether it's good or bad. Like I just, I, sometimes I want things to be turned upside down because man, just, just become, just becoming, being an adult is just whack to me. Like I take care of my responsibilities, don't get, don't get it twisted. But at the same time, it's just not having that freedom that I had when I was younger to just be on some shit. Like, yo, I'm gonna go live with my father and I know he's gonna, he's not gonna charge me any rent 
and I could just do my thing. The only thing that I gotta worry about is a job and, and to be able to feed myself. I don't have that luxury. You know, what do I look like a grown ass man going back home to my father sleeping on his couch right now? But it's just that, it's the freedom that younger people have that I, I wish I had, man. Because this society that we live in, American society, you know, once they, they get you, they got a hold of you, they, they don't never let you go. In other words, you are continually running in that gerbil, gerbil wheel. And it never stops. The bill never stops. No matter if you, I, I, I'm totally not a fan of, of the term financial freedom because nobody is never uh, free from paying bills. You might could pay up on your bills. You might be able to pay 10 years uh, worth of bills as far as dealing with your light bill. You might be able to say, hey, listen, um, well, in the case of Charlotte, do power. Hey, listen, I want to pay up on my light bill, so I'm going to give you all 10 Gs right now. That'll take care, of, take care of me for the couple of years. But once, once that 10 Gs run out, you're going to have to pay more. So there's no such thing as financial freedom, in my opinion. Right? So you're always going to have bills. And you're always going to have to hustle. Look at these people that are mega stars and superstars that make millions and millions of dollars but they still have to come up with another record they still got to come out with another movie why because they have bills period the bills don't stop and for those that are young that live with your parents you know or that 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 that, that are young men and young women that have lived with your parents and they allowed you to you know stay there until you get your shit right man you you got it made I would tell you, man, stay at your mom's and father's house as long as, as, as long as possible until they say, hey, listen, you're going to have to get the hell out. Because let me tell you something about society. Let me tell you about this, this society that you are about to embark on as a young man and as a young adult. It is fierce. It is fierce. I try to explain my children, explain to my children just how inflation works. Just how the, 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 the worth of the dollar bill is slowly but surely declining. So by the time they, they get old, um, become young men and young, young women, it's like, man, the, the world is going to, the society as a whole is going to be, the world is going to be different. We're embarking in, in, into automation. You know, people are losing their jobs to robots. Like, I don't know whether y'all realize this or not. I know for those that, that have hope and faith, you know, you, you hope things are going to get back to the way that they were, but then ne it's never going to be the same. I can tell you that right now. So if you banking on it, you trying to roll the dice and, and, and but truly believing that things are going to go back to exactly the, the, the way that they were, that's not going to happen. This is the new present. This is what we're dealing with, what we're experiencing right now. And it's crazy to me, man. It's crazy, it's like, sometimes I just wanna go backwards. I just wanna go backwards because, yeah, you know, I got into my, my dealings, my, my problems and all the rest of that and got into trouble and all the rest of that. But man, never, never would I have ever thought that I would see this day. I studied about it, I read on it, you understand? Um, I wasn't exactly prepared because I thought this was going to happen like way, way in the, into the future. But never would I thought that I would see this in, in a lifetime where they, this will be, there will be a, a, a virus that would kill off millions of people. And, and, still, and still counting. Never, never in my life would I imagine that I would experience that. While in the process of that happening, you know what I'm saying, it's still, you know, people are still dying off of other, you know, things such as cancer, AIDS. And then let's not talk about the black community. I mean, we killing each other at alarming rate while we're suffering from police brutality, drug abuse, <laughs> domestic abuse, child abuse. Pedophiles are running rampant. They're trying to legalize pedophilia. Like, come on, man. And you, 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 you gonna actually sit here and judge me and say, you know what, man, Langston, Langston wants to be a kid again. Nah, it's not that. I just want this, I don't want this stuff. I don't wanna have to deal with this. I don't want this to be my reality because it slowly but surely eats at your soul. And you definitely have to have tough skin in this day and time because loved ones are dropping dead 
Like, yo, for real, my, my sister gave me a call and I was like, man, I hope she ain't got no, she, I hope she doesn't talk about somebody dying. You know what I'm saying? So she, she hit me with the, you know, I was just checking to see how you was doing and blah, 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 blah. And I truly, sincerely think that that's what she called me for, to check, on, check up on me and my children. You know what I'm saying? My children and I. But then, you know, it was like, oh, well, you know, such and such was, and, and that, that person that she was talking about, that person is like about two, three years older than me. And I went to school with her husband. We went to the same grade. She said the, 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 the uh, female woke up, had chest pains, passed out. Her husband, the dude that I went to school with, resuscitated her. They put her in the ambulance. She didn't even make it to the hospital. Dead. That plain and simple. And it's crazy because, man, I could be making my last video right now. This, this is a reality. This could be my last video right now today. This is our reality. And you're judging me because I'm telling you that I want to be a kid again. Not so much a kid, but a young adult where I don't have to have as much responsibility as I have right now. Because a lot of weight is on my shoulders as well as others. It's not just, I'm not just going through this. And let me tell you something. Like I said before, I count my blessings because at the end of the day, it could be way more worse. I've, I've seen people on the news that are homeless. I've seen people lose their jobs and, you know, making a, a, a substantial amount of money in order to support their children. Now they're on television, on the news, begging and crying for someone to help them. And just because you got your stimulus check, that doesn't mean everybody got their stimulus check. So we definitely got to take in consideration, man, that, you know, for those that are able to say that they're in a good place, hey, man, you, you count your blessings. If you can get online and look at my videos, you know, you're not doing too bad. That internet service has to be paid. It's obvious you either have a laptop, cell phone, or a desktop. That costs money. Lights, in order for you to look at your, your phone or at my videos, you gotta plug it up to charge it. The desktop and the laptop. So it's, some of you all are you're not doing that bad. You know what I'm saying? You're not a do you're not y'all are not doing as worse as the people that I see on the news every day. Crying and begging for somebody to help them. And if it weren't for this COVID-19 thing and them getting fired from their job or not fired or laid off or whatever, they would have been able to help themselves. So now you feel helpless because all these years you've been able to take care of yourself, your family. And now you can't. You gotta go to some program or wait for these jive ass. N-I-G-G-E-R-S's that sit on Capitol Hill to pass a goddamn bill to give you a little piece of goddamn money that's truly yours. Oh man, I'm hey man, I'm I'ma do I'ma do what I have to do on this on this planet, man. But when I die, I know I'm gonna be ready to die. I just wanna move on to the next next best thing. Because this life, man, I'm not lying. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Y'all can call me hood. Y'all call me this and that or whatever have you. You can say what you want to say, man. I remember boosting clothes and, and running from the, <laughs> running from the mall cops. I got a story for days of doing just stupid shit. But at that time, it was, it was a thrill. It was exciting. You understand? I remember going to Myrtle Beach and, and wilding out. Going to New York, wilding out in the clubs, just wilding out. And it's like, I can't do that now. So some people may say, well, you got that itch, man. You, you, yeah, I do got that itch, but I know if I go out there and do some shit like that, people gonna look at me like, man, you a grown ass man. What are you, what are you doing that for? But there are times that I just, yo, man, and, and Netflix don't cut it. I don't wanna look at Netflix, Netflix every week, and I don't wanna do that. I don't want to look at video, uh, Prime, Video Prime or whatever. I don't want to look at none of that stuff. I don't want to sit down. I'm not the type of person to sit down and binge or for watching whatever season one or season two of such and such and such. It's not me. So that's the reason why some of the times when you may bump into me, you may talk about like, let's say, for example, a, 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 a power or empire. I, I haven't seen none of those shows. I could 
can even tell you who was who. I can't. I don't know who died. I don't know who's alive. I don't know anything about that because I'm just not a fan of TV. Yeah, true indeed. I might sit down and watch a YouTube video here and there, whatever have you, you know, but that's about it. My playing ground is the world. And I just want to take it to the next level. You know, once they free everything up um, and, and it's somewhat remotely normal, I don't think it'll ever be normal, but it'll be somewhat close to it. Once they do that, I want to start island hopping. And as much as I have love for Charlotte, as much as Charlotte, as much as Charlotte has taught me and, 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 and molded me into a, a, a grown man, I got to say, you know, there will be a departure sometime soon because I can't stay at one place for years upon years upon years. I can't do it. It's, it's just not in me. I've never done it. That's never been my life. And this is the reason why it's, it's hard, it's difficult to tell people where I'm from, and it's difficult to, 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 to um, how can I put it, like, like kind of like gel with other people, because other people have like, people that they grew up with, I don't have that. The only person I can actually say that I've known for years, and he's always been around, is Pretty Ricky. That's it. So at one point in time, we wasn't seeing eye to eye. And we had to make that up. We had to bring that bond back because, yo, we got some years. You understand? Some years together. But for the most part, man, this, this has been my life. You know, I don't stay in one place for long periods of time. I just can't do it. I cannot throw some hot dogs on the grill on the 4th of July and be cool with that every year as my stomach gets bigger and bigger and bigger and gray all over my beard and i'm seeing the younger version of me which is my son he bringing home the little chicks and this and that man sucker yo i'm out of here i'm i'm about to think of a master plan man other than that i want y'all like comment subscribe and definitely share this video peace